Assalamualaikum and a very good morning to all our radio listeners And now you are tuning to another episode of Basic Concept of IT Okay, for your information, this segment is based on the module of Basic Concept of Information Technology One of the courses offered by Faculty of Information Technology and Multimedia Communication Okay, as usual, with me in our radio county Today, let me introduce our guest Encik Muhammad Diaudin Abin Muhammad Sufian, a lecturer from Faculty of Information Technology and Multimedia Communication. Saya ikut Encik Diaudin. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, how are you doing today? Uh, <coughs> having a, I mean a bad cough I think. <coughs> <coughs> okay, uh, uh, I hope you will be better uh, when yes, we you. start our segment today. Yeah. Uh, and for your information guys. Today, Encik Diodin is going to share with us about output and input. Mm-hmm. Okay, before we go further on our topic today on input and output, mm-hmm. can you please share with us what is input and what is output? Okay, uh, people need to enter something to the computer so that uh, the computer can operate. So, input is the is the the data or instructions uh, that we be entered by the user into the Uh, memory of uh, of a computer so when we talk about input we cannot run away to talk about input device so which is a, a hardware component uh, that allows you to enter this this data and instructions into the computer so we can see a lot of examples uh, uh, on uh, input we have keyboards we have mouse we have uh, touch screen uh, uh, biometric device magnetic stripe and so forth uh, on the other hand uh, output is the the thing that being processed and being given back to the the user or in a technical way is the data that has been processed into a useful form meaning uh, in the form that uh, understood by the by the end user so when computer process uh, process data it will process the input uh, given by the user into the, into some kind of information uh, in the form of output so this output can be in term of uh, uh, in displaying to the to the monitor and also um, uh, in the form of audio or even text and graphic also a uh, form of output so talking about output device is uh, similar to input is input uh, is device to 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 uh, uh, retrieve the input uh, output device is the device or hardware component that is going to to produce the uh, output and display it to the user such as uh, speakers uh, monitor uh, printers uh, headphones and uh, projectors that's that's are the some examples so that's the the uh, as a introduction to our topic today what is input and what mm, is output. output okay after this uh, we are going to take a look more um, about input device what uh, what is the input device that Chet Deodin is going to share with us stay around on our radio UM and guys uh, for me well, let's take a listen to this number by two fat featuring Dian Sastro Doyo and Yasin Alhamdulillah on Ari Di OUM. OUM roaming across your mind. Thank you so much for still listening to the basic concept of IT. Okay, and for those who just uh, log on to our website, haridu.oun.edu.my Now, we are still discussing about our topic today on output and input. Okay, uh, let's get back with our guest today, Encik Muhammad Diaudin bin Muhammad Sufian, a lecturer from Faculty of Information Technology and Multimedia Communication. Okay, just now you already uh, share with us a brief introduction about input okay. and output mm-hmm. and now let's take a look on what are the key and button mm-hmm. commonly found on desktop uh, computer keyboard okay uh, first and foremost we need to understand that keyboard is actually um, uh, input device that uh, con- uh, contains keys uh, for user to press as a mechanism to enter data or instruction to the, to the computer so typically of course uh, keyboards have a typing area where uh, user can press uh, to to instruct the computer to display a letters um, numbers uh, uh, what special uh, special uh, keys and so forth so as an 
an enhancement to the keyboard uh, basic keyboard we have an enhanced keyboard that have also fun functions keys to issue commands or a numeric keypad arrow keys and also other additional keys and buttons as addition to that we have also keyboard that have uh, incorporated media buttons uh, or media control buttons where you can control your media player program straight from the keyboards no need to use mouse and browse to the uh, media program and do it you can just do it from your keyboard uh, even adjust your speaker volume uh, via the keyboard no need to uh, increase the volume direct to the speaker just through your keyboard and another um, uh, buttons that can be found on the keyboard is uh, internet control button which allows you to control your internet program um, buttons to to uh, trigger your email button to trigger your computer to open your web browser and even button to allow you uh, to uh, to ask the computer to prompt the search function uh, for the internet uh, so even for those who are like uh, who like to play games there's also keyboard that provides special buttons to control uh, your your games so that's the uh, that are the the common Boom. buttons or keys that we can find on on uh, a keyboard and also and an on enhanced keyboard okay uh, maybe after this you can share with us what are the different between keyboard uh, keyboard for mm -hmm. mobile um, computer okay. and also desktop computer keyboard. Yes, sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, if you want to find out more about this, stay around on basic concept of IT on our radio UM. Hello, thank you so much for still listening to the basic concept of IT with our topic today, input and output. Okay, Cik Daudin, mm -hmm. just now we already discussed about the common button and key mm -hmm. found on the desktop, desktop. computer keyboard. Okay. And now let's take a... Uh, let differentiate mm. okay uh, what are the different uh, between mm -hmm. uh, keyboard for computers and, uh, mobile computer. and also mobile computers okay um, the element of keyboards or keyboard features is still retained inside our mobile devices be it uh, tablet or smartphones even though now we have a uh, advanced smartphone uh, with a uh, touch screen so when we talk about keyboard inside the mobile devices we are talking about keyboard that is built in into the system unit of the uh, mobile devices so of course the size the sizes are smaller and have fewer keys and even one button can perform multiple functions so even some smartphones model or some uh, mobile devices uh, have a mini keyboard uh, instead of screen keyboard some of them straightly incorporate the on-screen keyboard so the options for for sm uh, smartphones or mobile devices um, to, to incorporate keyboard can be in the form of um, uh, straightly on the screen keyboard where you just press on the screen uh, the keyboards on the display on the screen other than that we have a smartphone that also have uh, uh, buttons straight in, uh, in uh, to, to imitate the keyboard's uh, functionalities but it's a it's smaller it's smaller size and some some of the models have uh, uh, the keyboards need to uh, have more than one functions let's say q uh, q button on the on the keyboard can also perform uh, to, uh, to 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 enter number 1 for example not just uh, one one uh, one letter or one uh, one one number so in a nutshell uh, to incorporate keyboard inside the mobile or to differentiate uh, keyboard inside the mobile compared to desktop they straightly put the keyboard inside the system unit of the mobile devices and allows the the keys or buttons to perform uh, to be and uh, to perform to allow multiple characters to be entered so that's differentiate uh, the the keyboards of mobile uh, as compared to desktop desktop keyboard mm. Mm -hmm. okay maybe you can share with us about the various type of touch screen mm -hmm. we have and share with us also about how a touch sensitive uh, pad works okay uh, well 
uh, to understand about touch screen is actually a touch uh, sensitive display uh, that allow you to interact with the computers generally the computers uh, by touching any areas on the screen so that's that's why we call it a touch screen so an example of touch screen can be seen uh, can be in the form of kiosk uh, where it is a, it is a free standing computer that uh, uh, that incorporate touch screen to to perform some services uh, like uh, kiosk for e-ticketing for example and also we have technologies from Microsoft we call it Microsoft Surface where it is a tabletop display that allows user to interact uh, uh, on the screen by using their fingers uh, or the, the both hands both hands have a tabletop display with the bigger size you just play around like it's like a big tablet I would say but it's not a tablet this the size the size of the tabletop is, is big so yeah. talking about how touch sensitive works um, the touch sensitive pad enables users to scroll through and play music or viewing pictures watch videos and other things uh, by using your hands to and touch on the on the screen so can be the form of buttons it can be a form of uh, scrolling down or wheels so um, by pressing or touching on the screen you can perform the uh, the function of a computer to replace keyboard so that's that's the idea of touch screen and touch sensitive touch sensitive pad mm -hmm. oh okay uh, we will take a small break and after this we are going to explore more what are the other input device that we have but for Miwa, let's take a listen to this number. Stay around on our radio UM, roam across your mind. Hi, good morning. Thank you so much for still listening to the basic concept of IT segment with our topic today on input and output. Okay, just now we already uh, discussed about keyboard mm -hmm. and also the touch, touch, touch screen uh, device. Mm -hmm. And now let's take a look what are other type of input device. Okay, um, we have very uh, variety of inputs that we uh, we can see and find nowadays. So we have uh, video and computer games which use games, uh, game controller as the input device. So such as gamepad, uh, joystick. Uh, or even uh, steering wheel as an input that's for game uh, game uh, uh, game users so we have also computer games I think most people out there know it, know it which is a Wii we have a Wii remote uh, to that serve as a motion sensing game controller uh, for smartphone we have a microphone and, or headset so that we can talk directly to uh, through the phones and even now smartphone I think majority of smartphone have digital cameras uh, and also touch sensitive pads to, re uh, to receive the input from the users and also webcam that we have inside our county here today so it's also an, a type of uh, input mm. so that's how we can um, communicate through video conferencing and have a meeting with the people uh, throughout the world and uh, now we move on to uh, the, the other, uh, other input device which is a scanner um, which is a light sensing input device that read printed text graphics and translate that into a form that computer can understand uh, we have we also have an optical reader so that we, uh, we we use the light source to read the characters marks and codes and convert them into a digital format uh, then we have OCR or optical character recognition so that we can have a uh, analyze the characters from the from the hard, uh, hard copy documents we have a barcode reader to read the barcodes and uh, mostly we use it at the, the hypermarket or when we do our uh, to shop uh, our grocery we have RFID device that read information on the embedded tag via radio wave we also have magnetic stripe card reader the one that can be found on your debit card uh, credit card we also have last but not least biometric input where we receive fingerprints or facial features or voice recognition as an input usually nowadays we use it as a, a form of attendance oh. uh, attendance to, to the office we use a biometric device some some office use NERF NERF to, to, to track that your staff has checked in into the office so that's uh, more or less other type of inputs that can be found 
Mm. Uh, which serve as a as a mechanism to retrieve uh, instruction from user to the computer. Mm. Mm. Okay, after this uh, we are going to be continue with in uh, output device. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, which is we are going to discuss about printer mm. and also about monitor mm -hmm. and other, other type, type of, of output, output device mm -hmm. so stay around on our radio um and right back after this and for me while well, let's take a listen to this number by la and zaf vi -E, aku bukan untukmu on our radio um enjoy Thank you so much for still listening to the basic concept of IT with our topic today on input and output. Okay, let's continue Cik Diodin with our topic today sure. on input and output. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's take a look at another device mm -hmm. which is monitors. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you share with us what are the characteristics of LCD monitor okay can you uh, as you see in our in Arido County we have mm -hmm. LCD monitor mm -hmm. and uh, LCD screen mm -hmm. and also CRT monitors mm -hmm. which is the old monitor the yeah, bigger the, the, the bulky the, one yes, okay yeah. what are the characteristics of this kind of monitors okay uh, monitors or screens or even uh, uh, other type of uh, uh, monitors like a TV for example is actually a display device or output device used to visually convey the text, uh, graphics and video plus let latest monitors can uh, can also provide audio uh, embedded together inside the, the monitors so before going to LCD let's take a look a bit on the uh, the first kind of uh, monitor which is a CRT monitor or cathode ray tube so straight to the point is a desktop this CRT monitor is a desktop monitor that uh, contains cathode ray tube uh, to display um, uh, the, the images, um, graphics, text to the to the user. That's uh, CRT. That's why we, if you can still remember, it's a bulky one, big. So we have the to carry. <laughs> okay. Then after that, it's evolved into uh, LCD, LCD uh, monitor that use also it use uh, liquid crystal li uh, display. That's why we call it as LCD. L for liquid, C for crystal, and D for display. So when we talk about LCD, it's actually use uh, a liquid compound to present the information on the display device. That mm -hmm. be it in one a monitor for computer or TV, and then it evolved to LED uh, and and so forth. <coughs> so that's a bit, uh, I would say the strict strict explanation. Uh, direct uh, direct explanation on what are the characteristics of LCD and um, CRT monitor. CRT use cathode ray uh, use a cathode ray tube mechanism to display um, display information to the user. Uh, whereas uh, LCD use a liquid compound to present the information on the display device. So that, that's the simple difference between these two mm. kind of uh, display devices. Okay. Um another uh, output device we commonly use <coughs> okay maybe every day mm -hmm. maybe when you want to print your assignment mm -hmm. which is printer mm -hmm. okay can you share with us what are the various type of printer that we okay. have printer is uh, another hardware component or output devices that uh, produce text or graphics or whatever that this we can see on the screen into a physical form into a physical medium like papers so we have inject printer uh, which uh, prints by spraying tiny drops of ink onto the paper we also have photo printer which produce photo lab quality pictures and of course we use laser printer from uh, in the day to day operation office which use a high speed high quality printer that operates in a manner similar to a copy machine that's laser printer and then it's evolved into a multi-function peripheral which have which allows a single device that uh, perform like a computer or copy machine but can also provide other functionalities like not just a, uh, printing but also can can scan can uh, do a photocopy and even can fax do do a, do a, uh, have a fax features other than that we have a thermal printer which uh, generates images by pushing electrically heated 
uh, heated pins against heat sensitive paper and of course for data center people uh, specifically we have a mobile printer uh, which is small battery powered printer used to print from a notebook computer or to print a tag for example then we have plotters it, this one is a big uh, example big type of printers that allows us to produce high uh, quality, quality drawings and a uh, large scale of photo large scale of images in the, in the higher resolution last but not least go back to the old printer we call it as a dot matrix printer but it's still being used although it's uh, older version but it's still being used because we use dot matrix printer that produce uh, to 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 print um, uh, invoice invoice mostly te order. mostly text based document mm. so we use we prefer to use um, uh, dot matrix due to its its cost if you want to print images and other high resolution um, uh, document uh, we can use uh, inkjet or printer and so forth uh, that's the, the example of or types of uh, printers that we can find Mm. Okay guys, we will take a small break And after this, we will continue more about input and output So stay around on our radio OUM Roam across your mind Thank you so much for still listening to the basic concept of IT Segment. Okay, now we already come to our last question for this week episode of output and input uh, device. Okay, uh, Cik Deodin, mm -hmm. can you share with us what are input and output options for physically challenged user? Okay, uh, there are many forms of uh, inputs and outputs for physically challenged users. So, first we talk about voice recognition. Yes, it's a form of of input that can be used for visually impaired users and other than that uh, we can also have uh, 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 other inputs for people with limited hand mobility which includes keyboard with larger keys um, on screen keyboards or head mounted uh, pointers for hearing impaired users we can instruct uh, programs to, dis to, to, to display the words to, uh, instead of using the sounds um, signal. That's, uh, and yes. signal uh, and then uh, for visually impact users uh, for the outputs users can change window settings to make words easier to read Okay. and last but not least uh, for blind users of course we can use voice as a, as a voice output and also a braille printer so for, for by using braille they can can read and 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 understand what's being for example a student using braille they can understand what's being taught and learn on their own by using braille so that's why we need a braille printer to to have a braille uh, uh, form, forms of uh, modules for example or braille form of uh, documents so to allow blind people to to use it to read it mm -hmm. mm. that's a simple explanation on input and output for this kind of uh, physically challenged users for visually impaired for hearing impaired and also for for, for for blind for blind people mm. Mm. okay guys with that we already come to the end of this week episode of basic concept of IT I hope you find this segment beneficial and yet informational okay don't forget to be with us again next week same time same day mm -hmm. uh, because next week we are going to explore another interesting topic about information technology Till we meet again, have a good day ahead. Thank you very much to Chit Day yeah, before I forgot. <laughs> and stay around on our radio OUM because we have a lot more of interesting program coming up for you after this. Till then, bye bye.